T. Clark here, and this video is going to be talking about how to get your code from App Inventor into a code template. So the code template I have right here, let's use it, was made for copying the code from a text space editor, but we can just use it. Basically, you just need a blank file, honestly. Blank file, and just make sure the code is as large as you can get it. So let's see. So first off, I prefer, I like to have um, layout. So the way to do it is to take a screenshot. So the way to take a screenshot on Windows is Windows, Shift, S, and then you just box it up, and then go right to the document and paste, Control V. So there's that. Maybe you can change. This one doesn't have to be so large, maybe. Uh, eh, but honestly, I like, I like keeping it the size because it doesn't matter how many pages it is. Um, uh, when you turn it in and then you go to blocks, next thing you do is go to blocks and you go to each code section by itself, make sure it's large enough. You can zoom in if you want to probably don't have to zoom in too much. Um, there's a big monitor. And then again, windows key shift S if on, you're on a PC, I'll look it up. If you're on a Mac or a Chromebook, box it up, go to the document, control V to paste, enter. I can enter a couple of times between them. And don't worry if there's extra white space. Uh, Windows, Shift, S, box it up, paste it, enter, enter. And you shouldn't have to re resize anything. Maybe this one because it's super long. So let's see what happens when I box it up. Let go of the mouse, go back here, paste. And that's barely um, big enough. If it's too big, you might have to do separate boxes. So you might have to do Control S, box the first half and then box the next half. And the graders know that this happens, so don't worry if it's too long to the right. Um, but I don't think I have to for my code. Maybe if I was doing my um, factoring program, I'd have to enter, enter, paste, and then one more. Oh, maybe this one I have to. Uh, maybe not. Box it up. And then enter, enter, paste. And there we go. So double check, make sure everything is legible. And you may have eagle eyes because you're a young kid, but some of the graders, myself included, have bad eyesight, have glasses, and they've been staring at screens for um, hours, just grading and grading. So the easier you make it on the graders, the bigger the text, the easier it is for them to give you 100%. So then triple check, you didn't miss anything, zoom out. Make sure there's no code that you're missing. And so make sure all your code is there. And then the last thing you have to do um, is go over to File, Download, PDF. And mine takes a while to download, and there it is.